Hey friends, it's me. Um, I am going to show you how I made some houndstooth washcloths. Um, these were really fun. So I made these just from the sugar and cream cotton yarn that you can get at Joann's or whatever store. So yeah, I made, I measured my washcloths that I have. Um, and then I worked backwards expecting about 20% shrinkage from like it being on the loom to actually coming out of the dryer. So it worked out. And I did a rolled hem here um, where I used 8-2 cotton here so that it wasn't too chunky when I rolled it over. Um, yeah, it worked out so well. So I made two of these houndstooth ones and I made two herringbone ones, which will be in another video, but I love them. I'm gonna make a lot. I probably wanna make like 20 total and I'll do different stuff. Maybe just like gingham plaid, maybe stripes, maybe um, a couple that are like solid black, but in the herringbone pattern. I think that would be cool. So my next video after this one, I'll show you how I did the herringbone one. So enjoy this video. If you have a rigid heddle, um, these were so easy. This is not like, this looks like a pattern, but it, it really isn't. I'll show you <laughs> in the video. Um, so to make these, I used my 24 inch um, Ashford rigid huddle loom. I, as I said, I used uh, the just everyday sugar and cream cotton yarn with some 8-2 cotton for the edges. And I'll detail all of the um, dimensions and everything in the rest of the video. But yeah, they're super easy. And um, I've used them already in, in the shower and they're great. Like, I, I don't know what else to say. Like, if you have a rigid heddle, oh, I used my seven and a half dent um, heddle, I guess, to use them or to make them. So if you have one, make these, they're so easy. I think after I had it, at, um, had it warped up, I think I made two of them in like 30 minutes. It was so fast. So, See. So if you are waiting for stuff to be put in the shop, the next thing that's going in the shop is all of these bags at once. Um, I'm still working on them. I'm like on the third day in a row of working on these bags specifically. I just sewing them. I already had the fabric cut out and everything. So that is the next thing coming to the Forest Lane shop. Um, there's currently a ton of yarn. Um, which I may in the interim show a video of like all the stuff I do have in the shop just to refresh everybody and give you a nice visual, but, uh, it's such a nice day. I don't want to like stop talking, but I should, you can watch the video now. Bye. So this is after I warped on, but it was really very simple to do. All you do is pull one loop through each slot, one one collar, one the next. If you want your hound's tooth to be nice and, you know, vibrant, you choose colors that contrast really well and you can do a lower contrast too, but that's it. It's just two colors and you just alternate. After I got all of the loops cut, all I did was pull one strand through the hole. And that's all you have to do to set it up. It's really simple. Um, I did 226 ends. I measured 15 inches on my heddle um, and went from there. And I wanted black to be the more dominant color. So I started with two black and then ended with two black.
I started weaving with eight to black cotton. I did that for two inches um, so that when it shrinks up and you fold it over double, it makes a nice like half inch hem. Since I wanted black again to be the dominant color, um, after I did my two inches of black 8-2 cotton, I switched over to the black uh, sugar and cream cotton and then started with two picks of black and then two picks of white and alternated until the sugar and cream portion was 14 inches long. The full length of each washcloth on the loom was 17 inches, so I started with 2 inches of the 8-2 cotton, then I did 14 inches of the sugar and cream, alternating colors, just 2 picks of each color, and then another 2 inches of the 8-2 cotton, and then I just put a strand of white before I started the next one because I knew it was just going to surge them apart. I landed on starting with 15 inches across and 17 inches long um, because I'm expecting 20% shrinkage after everything goes through the washer and dryer. Um, and I measured my washcloths and they were about 12 inches. So the 15 inches should shrink to about 12 and then the 17 will get about an inch lopped off on either side from doing the hems and then from there, the same shrinkage, shrinkage from 15 to 12 inches. Before washing, all I did was serge the ends and serge the two towels apart and weave in the ends. I didn't clip the ends until after they were out of the dryer. herringbone washcloths all done. They were surged and washed and dried. I wanted to show you how they how they look now. So I have them clipped where I'm going to hem them. So this was my two inches using the 8-2 cotton and then I switched to the sugar and cream. So with those hems folded over, this is just right about 12 inches, which is what I wanted. And then this way is about 12 and a half. So we are so good there. I, when I washed this, I, the ends were woven in, but I didn't trim them. So these went through the washer and dryer this one I did trim so you can see there's no ends left so similarly this one's about 12 inches and 12 and a half this way so now I'm gonna press these seams and just sew them down and they'll be completely finished at that point I put these clips here I wouldn't normally but it's a pretty bulky fabric so it's kind of tricky to keep it rolled how you want it. 
and quickly move along. So I'm just gonna take these off every few inches. I'm just going to leave it how it is. I'm not going to put the clips back on. Now that it's pressed, it's going to stay pretty nice. Let's do the other one here. <clears throat> came with my um, bias tape making kit to kind of guide the fabric through the little metal bias maker shaper thing. But it's been, it's coming in handy for a lot of different things. Like if you want to iron something really small or if you're trying to like hold a corner in place like this. I'll hold this corner in place with this little guy. I've heard people call it a stiletto as well. And it really helps too when you're like holding a really um, narrow seam and you're sewing on your sewing machine and you're trying to like feed it in, but you don't want your fingers to get too terribly close. I found it very useful for that. This is how I trimmed these threads. Just like get really close up to it and snip it. I don't really leave any kind of tail because since it's gone through the washer and dryer, I washed it with hot water with my towels and through the dryer. So all of the threads should really be kind of melded where they're going to be. I don't really see these slipping out. This sugar and cream cotton yarn is, it's pretty like, when it comes off the cone, it was like really crispy almost, um, which I don't mind because I want it to be very absorbent because these are going to be uh, washcloths for my shower. They're not meant to be like smooth and silky for any reason. I honestly don't know what I would use a smooth, silky, like mercerized cotton for, for weaving. It's nice for doing like hand knit, like summer tank tops. I have a couple of those and they're really lovely, but you wouldn't want to do any kind of towel or something like a tea towel or washcloths or dishcloths or whatever like that because they're not absorbent they're not meant to be they're meant to be smooth so i just unless you're going to like be weaving a scarf i guess with cotton if you want it really super smooth but if i was going to do that i would choose a different material personally like bamboo or tinsel or something but i guess those have more shine to them maybe people don't want it to be terribly shiny I don't know. I don't know what people use mercerized cotton for. If you use it, let me know. Okay. So now, once I've got this, I wobbled my camera. Sorry. Get this all pressed. I'll take it over to my sewing machine. really really simple to make I promise so I'm gonna be doing lots more black and white washcloths for my bathroom and stay tuned for my next video when I show you how I did the herringbone washcloths <laughs>